What you are looking at at the screen right now is Vim and Emacs. This is Vim and this is Emacs. So uh, I'm sure the first thing you you, you notice that you know, when you see this is that one is a, one is a graphical um, application and one is a terminal application. I think there's actually um, there's actually a, 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 there's, there's actually something called a G, G Vim. There's, there's actually a graphical version of Vim, but I'm not going to go into detail on that. But by default, um, Emacs. Um, well, I mean. So yeah, by default, Emacs um, is is in graph mode. Although there is an option for for you to um, put Emacs in a terminal, but by default, it launches in a in a GUI, which I think you might want, might just want to st stick with that. All right. So what are the differences between these two powerful um, programs, right? Like you know, so Vim is actually just a text editor, and if 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 you recall my previous, which you, which you can check out up here. Um, so Emacs, I, I mentioned, was a lot more than text editor. Yes, you can do your um, your regular um, normal text editing, um, or you can also do many other things. Like for example, maybe I don't know, you want to um, you know run a shell command. I'm pretty sure you can do that in Vim too. But yeah, okay. Let, let, let me just show you. Like, so maybe you want to run a shell set. Like you want to put a shell like like right in there, right? Maybe you want to put a shell right into Emacs. Maybe you want to invoke um, GDB. Maybe you want to compile something. Maybe you want to do some spell checking. Maybe you want a calendar. Maybe you want to browse the web. And no, this will not open Firefox. It's basically like a lightweight browser built uh, into Emacs. Maybe you want to read some mail. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is actually only local mail. I, th I think I'm wrong. I, I haven't really played around with this much, much after admit. I was kind of lazy with it. Anyway, maybe you want to decrypt or encrypt or verify a file. Maybe you want to play some games. Maybe you want to play Tetris. And yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, Emacs is obviously a lot more than just uh than merely a text editor. Uh, yes, it is. It is. It is way more than merely a text editor. Far more than that. Um, whereas Vim is a text editor. So um, the thing is, uh, I would actually. So if I were given a choice between Vim and Emacs, I would say it depends on what I'm doing. For text editing, I would use Vim because Vim's app is just so powerful for text editing, right? And uh, I would say for like like maybe for how about you know a nice game of Tetris? And of course, Emacs because obviously Vim doesn't have that. Okay, see, so uh, uh, so um, I'm sure probably the first thing you're thinking is now hold on a second. If um if Emacs is a text ed also has a text editor built into it, then why not just use Emacs? Why use Vim? Well, then again, so remember again, uh, as I mentioned, Vim is a very, very powerful text editor. So now, for example, like let's let's compare let's just compare the text editing in these two programs. All right, so by default in Emacs, you are you are in insert mode, which means you can once you start typing something, yeah, it just just you know puts it right into that file or whatever. It's just yeah, there you go. Uh, right. However, in Vim, it's actually a little different. So by default, you are in something called command mode. Yeah, this is yeah. Basically, Vim is actually based on tech, uh, an older text editor called Vi. Basically, Vim is Vi improved, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, Vi improved. So basically, uh, like like uh, following um, you know the footsteps of Vi. Yeah, basically, so Vim by default is in command mode, which means you cannot start uh, typing in text. Uh, but basically, uh, once you get into insert mode, then you can start typing with text. Why? Why would so you, so you might argue? Now hold on a second. Isn't that just wasting your time? Like I, I like I, so you might be like, okay, I know that's that's only like like two seconds. They they're wasting like probably like half a second. But like, doesn't it add up? Well, well, think about it. I mean, like, okay, fine. I guess that's a logical argument. But think about it, right? I mean, like, uh, so. So the thing is, for uh, if you're invoking commands in Emacs, normally they're um they're, they're like control something or or, or they're con control key or alt key, whereas in Vim um these are actually um distinguished. So basically, let's go back into command mode, uh, and now now we're back in, back in command mode. Um, so basically, this means that um. So, so basically, so, so you know, in Emacs, if, if you want to like like run like five commands, you'll have to like control control this, control that, control this, control that, control this, right? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to use control or alt every single time, right? Whereas in Vim, basically you're already in, you, you, you have your, if you're in command mode, then basically you don't have to like control this, control that. Like for example, you want to do the line. There you go. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so basically, yeah, in, in command mode, yep, there you go. I have just deleted a line with command mode. Um, right, so yeah, that, that's, yeah, I really like this command mode feature of Vim. I think it's, I think it's pretty good, right? <clears throat> uh, okay, so now, yeah, okay, what else? Well, um, v Vim has um, 
uh, five modes that I know know of. So so uh, two of two two of them you already just saw. So that that'll be those would be insert and command mode. And there are three others, at least that I know. Uh, at least so basically at least five modes. Okay, what's what's the, okay, let's get back into um let's back into let's just type type some random nonsense. Okay. Now let's talk about visual mode. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and go to the beginning of the line, right? Okay, so we're at the beginning. Now let's, uh, so now if, if you look over here, uh, we're in visual block mode right now, which basically, um, so you can see, maybe you wanna highlight some text. Um, there you go. And yeah, but, but by the way, I'm actually, uh, you can see I'm not moving my mouse around. I'm actually doing this entirely with the keyboard. So you, even if you're like, if you're using just a plain terminal, it would actually be like, like just like, like, it would be like, like like almost the same as like using your mouse, probably like exactly the same. And yeah, you, by the way, you can also use, like just directly use your mouse. Uh, I know this is a terminal, but yeah, yeah, the terminal version of Vim also supports using your mouse here. So I can do that. So that's visual. That's well, yeah, okay. So, so now that's visual block mode. Uh, basically, like for example, let, let me let, let me just show you. Like, let's let's start start typing some more lines. Okay, let's go back here. And yes, you can use your mouse. Uh, you can f uh, using your mouse is one hundred percent supported in Vim, even in the in the Toronto version. Right, let's get back. So first of all, we're gonna go into command mode. Command mode. Now we're gonna go into visual block mode. And now we can start highlighting some text. And yeah, it's, it's the first character of every line. And maybe you wanna delete all that. There you go. All that's just been deleted. And maybe you wanna undo that. There you go. We have just undone it. Yeah. With the, yeah. That's yeah. In command mode, obviously. Okay, and now, yeah, there are three visual modes. So the first one, we, so we just looked at visual block mode. All right, now let's look at um, visual um, visual line mode. Uh, basically, the, yeah, as my, as you would have, as you as you I'm sure as, as I'm sure you've guessed it. Basically, it just you know highlights all, just highlights lines. Maybe you want to delete all this um, stuff. There you go. We have deleted all of that. We have just deleted everything. Okay, and now the final one is just plain visual. Visual, oh, sorry, no, not that. Um, just visual, right? Basically, uh, this, this is sort of like visual line mode. I would, I would say, but like, uh, basically, it's not, it's not like, like, like the, the difference is that visual line mode is just specifically for like, you know, lines, highlighting lines. While visual mode um, basically means that you know you can um, just highlight whatever, right? That's how that works. Right, so yeah, those are the three visual modes in Vim, and this, that's why Vim is just so powerful because they have um, at least five modes, probably more. Right, and the thing is, that, that, like, unlike Emacs, they actually distinguish between you know command mode and insert mode, and you know, um, you know, and the visual modes and things like that. Right, but in Emacs, you only have one mode, which is just insert mode. Commands are always have like are always going to be um, you know preceded with the control key or so control key something or alt key something. Right, so yeah, I think uh, I think personally I think this is an advantage of Vim. I think I think this is this is a huge advantage for Vim. All right, yeah, <clears throat> I think this is a huge advantage for Vim. All right, yeah, and Vim also has something called macros. Uh, macros are extremely powerful. Okay, like let, let me just show you an example. Like, let's go ahead and just delete all this. Okay, um, let's go ahead and insert. This. Okay, hold on, I'm sorry, never mind. Okay, back to command mode. Let's um, go in and record a macro um, at the address A. No, I don't, I don't, that's not right. There. Okay, so now we're recording a macro at A. Basically, what that means what this means is that once we're done recording the macro, uh, if 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 we um, if, if if we invoke if we invoke um, at A, then that means it's actually gonna re gonna repeat uh, everything we're doing. So right now we are recording at the macro. So basically wh whatever I'm about to do right now is gonna be recorded in that macro. So that means whenever we call that macro, all of, all of that, which, what, what, we have just, what, we, what we have what we have just done will be repeated. Okay, let me just show you. So now, uh, so insert one. And yeah, by the way, we are still recording the macro. We have not stopped. So for example, me on one is say, hello world, right? Okay, back to command mode and uh, let's stop recording, okay. Now let me just go ahead and delete this line to show you. Maybe um, let's see how many times do we want to repeat this? How about we want? How about let's do this macro ten times? All right, and there you go. Um, uh, I, yeah, I, I think that worked actually. Yeah, it looks like it worked. Uh, what is this? I actually, um, well, let, let me just delete this thing real quick. Okay, anyway, uh, let's let's. 
Well, yeah, uh, I, I think I messed something up there, but you can see, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure uh, for the most part, or we can do it again, for example. Maybe this time let's do it um, at the macro B. Oh, sorry, we're in insert mode. Okay, um, let's try it again. So maybe let's do hello world and then we put in a new line. Okay, and then, yeah, and then we go to new, new line. Okay, now let's stop recording. Let's try it now. All right, there you go. It is just printing hello world and let's, let's delete those lines. Let's see if we can print it 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. It has just printed hello world ten times. Pretty cool, right? Oh well, yeah. Um, you can see there's a sexy new line there, but remember, every time we did the macro, we actually printed a new new line. So yeah, we can just easily delete that. There we go. Well, actually, let's not delete it, but there. Now we just delete it. So there you go. Um, Vim macros. They are pretty powerful. Let me just tell you, they are pretty dang powerful. <clears throat> So yeah, and yeah, you can use this macro whenever you want, you know, um, like, and you, you just saw like, you know, um, like basically, yeah, to call a macro, just be, you know, at, um, whatever, like at A, at B, and then you can, you can even uh, follow commands by a number, like you can have, like, you can put a number before the command here to actually specify how many times you want to do this. Um, and yeah, you, so yeah, Vim is, is a very powerful text editor, which is why I'm going to um, use it for my text. And yeah, the thing is, I actually played with Emacs, and, like, you know, like, even as a text editor, but yeah, like, you know, uh, I, I I just couldn't, uh, I just could not keep up on Vim. So yeah, there you have it, um, Vim versus Emacs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time, guys. Um, bye.